но нам уша. Alright, so I was tagged on Instagram uh, from a few people to try out this cushion. The only reason I thought it was because it was really, really cute. Um, it's the Labiote Classic Made Fitting Cushion, um, SPF 50, PA Triple Plus. I think it's just a regular cushion, but I think it's the packaging that's so, like, bears. They're fucking teddy bears. And then not only that, but look at the palm. It's in the shape of a bear. Oh, isn't that sweet? Apparently the puff is supposed to have like two layers of really squishy material and in the middle there's in the middle there's like air. It's not unique to me. There are other cushions that have this sort of cushion. And actually, um, I paid about 22,000 won, which is like the regular price for a cushion, but you get like a refill as well. So it's actually not that expensive considering you get the cushion and a refill. You, Cause even the Pony Fang one will cost $40 for the cushion and the refill. So this one is pretty decently priced. On the back, it's I, there's two colors. There's I think it's called light beige, and I have, <coughs> I have number 23, natural beige. It's supposed to be a proven 25-hour makeup. Dermatology tested. Uh, the fitting cushion expresses natural flawless skin with closely adhering 25-hour makeup with just a single application. Blur effect conceals blemishes. The special blurring powder makes skin look flawless with some blur effects. And juniper berry water for perfect skin base. Contains 40% poreless essence. I think it's... It, I think they meant 40% essence that's supposed to help control like pore size or whatever. And apparently as an alternative to distilled water, they use juniper berry water. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be moisturizing and pore tightening. Which is what I need because my skin is really oily right now um, as it is warm now. So let's get to trying. That sounded really fake, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. It was almost, almost like a perfumed makeup like it's not the kind of perfume style you would get like a lot high-end luxury product like Dior Chanel like it's too strong it has a nice floral scent it's kind of light okay I'm gonna take the puff and I'm just gonna go in a little bit I'm gonna try to build it up slowly because I don't want to put too much there okay type <laughs> I didn't put enough sorry You know what? The little ear on the bear, I'm finding, already has a really practical application. It's really good for getting to the inner corner right here. Because do you see how it fits perfectly under the eye? For me, um, it probably depends on your eye shape, but... Right off the bat, I can tell that it has a really um, soft matte finish. Oh, It's really softening out the look of my skin. But, um, I can tell because, like I can already tell now, you can probably tell, I'm, I keep going back in and that tends to be the case with a lot of uh, long wear or matte products because they set so quickly on the skin, you do have to um, go back in. And I am kind of building it up, I'm not dunking the sponge in there um, so that there's a ton of product on the sponge, I'm only putting a little bit on the sponge so I can understand that I do have to kind of dip back into the cushion again. Uh, just to spread the product out and get it evenly on my skin. But I can already tell from this that, and also I'm probably not going to put it in my forehead because I'm going to be wearing a hat anyway and my bangs are down, so maybe if this goes really bad and I'm going to have to test it for day two, then I'll maybe put it on my forehead then. But so far, I'm really liking the way it um, softens the skin. I do have that patch of pores here. I'll call it closer uh, for a closer shot later, but I do have that patch of pores here that they're still, I mean, they're still kind of visible, but it did take care of like the really small pores that I have. By nature of the fact that it's a more matte, softening, pore, whatever, uh, filling product and not more on the dewy side, um, it is giving that effect of like more perfected, smoothed out looking skin. With dewy skin, it looks nice and pretty and fresh, but you do run that risk of it kind of highlighting any skin textural issues and of course you can still get the same effect from just using like a, finishing your makeup with a powder um, because that will soften and mattify the surface of the skin but therefore making it look smoother but you're basically just getting that effect in one product with this one as is the case with many other mattifying products but this is a uh, one lightish layer very thin i didn't put that much at all um, every time i did dip back in i made sure i only put a little bit on the puff 
Um, and then I made sure um, before I do did dip back in uh, that all the product that's on the sponge is already gone. Now let me try to build it up one more time because it only, this is about a medium coverage. It didn't cover up every single tiny little problem I have. Okay, so there is another layer and I like this look much, much better. It looks so much more perfected. Um, but it still doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like makeup. Uh, my dark circles are a little bit more gray looking. Uh, but I can de definitely um, conceal that with a different concealer or I can color correct prior to this. But so far I really like the finish, very soft, matte, very natural looking. It's not super, super, super matte, it's like dry and powdery looking. When we think of like natural finish, it tends to be slightly still more on the dewy-ish side. But for this, it's more on the matte side, but not overly matte. Again, here it is without and with. Okay, now I'm just gonna apply it to the other side. Another thing is, I tend to enjoy the bigger puffs because I can put three fingers in and I feel like I have more control when I'm using three fingers to apply with a cushion, with a cushion uh, foundation, but I think because this is slightly more on the smaller, like, it's there's some that are too small, but this is like a perfect uh, medium, or it strikes a perfect balance of like size, so even if I am only just using two fingers to use the sponge, I think it's pretty comfortable. It did have a little bit of trouble sticking around my nose. Um, I can go, I don't, personally, I don't mind because I can go in with a separate concealer, but with the cushion alone, it kind of just mostly stayed on the nose, which is good because a lot of foundations have a hard time sticking to like the tip of my nose uh, because it's quite slippery and the skin is just really, really smooth there. But it did a pretty decent job here. It just around the nose, I would probably use a separate concealer. But looking at it overall in like the bigger picture, I think this would make a really good, from my first impression of this so far, I think it would make a really good everyday kind of cushion. As long as it stays looking like this throughout the day, so far I feel like um, the coverage is decent. Um, it's medium buildable. It has a sort of soft focus mattifying finish. So you could probably skip primer, like pore filling primer, and maybe even like a powder, like because I tend to use HD powders to really smooth out my skin. Uh, because it kind of does all of that alone. The color is a little bit too light for me though. I'm like a MAC NC25, but I'm more MAC NC30-ish uh, now that it's uh, getting to the summertime. But so far I'm really, I, I'm quite impressed by the cushion. Um, I really like the way it looks on the skin. So uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with y'all. With, uh, all right, uh, it's been <laughs> several minutes because I was over there taking some cute pics. But uh, I finished my makeup and what do I have? On my lips, I have one of the uh, I'm TikTok tint lips, number four. And my eyes have some like water tint thing from the Sam. So far, I, I mean, it looks pretty much the same. It's all set now. Still natural looking, uh, not so matte, um, but it feels uh, nice and adhered to the skin, I guess. I do get a tiny bit of glow. I, did, I didn't use any facial oil or anything, I just used regular like toner to moisturize my skin. Um, so this is kind of the finish you're gonna get. Did blow my nose though, um, and but surprisingly it, the foundation stayed pretty well still on my nose. Still, so, But you can still see a little bit of redness around the nose, so there's that. It's a medium to um, almost full coverage I think, but you do see like little tiny uh, dark spots here and there. But uh, it's 11.15 in the morning right now and we're, I'm gonna check in with you throughout the day. Here it is in, oh! What? <laughs> How light it is. I need to, especially if I walk over here. Can you see a difference? I don't know. Uh, this is what it looks like in natural daylight. It's hard to tell on this monitor, so I don't know how it looks. Hi, it's uh, 12, 24, so it's been a little bit over an hour. And surprisingly, it, cause usually when I go, it's really, it's really hot outside. And uh, usually when I go step outside, my like skin starts to heat up and it almost starts, not breaking down the foundation, but it starts to just affect the foundation. But surprisingly, it still looks pretty much the same as when I first applied it. I mean, it's only been an hour since I put it on, but uh, so far it's holding up and lately because of the weather, foundation just hasn't been doing that. Um, and again, surprisingly, I haven't gotten any really heavy creasing under my eyes. I haven't powdered or anything, so so far I, my smile line, I don't see anything. So, uh, that's good. It's his last fucking day as my manager, isn't that... 
a bittersweet moment. So sad, but uh, I'm so fucking happy. I'm kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Because the new matter is really hot. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> They're both my ex-managers, but I always tell them, oh yeah, I have two managers. Wow, um, I'm a little upset. It's 2, you cannot see it, it's 2.15 in the afternoon. And um, what the fuck is this? You see that? She's uh, creasing. But this is like really turning me off. Now, foundation has been doing that to me recently. I think it's mostly because of my oily skin. But I think I can just smooth it out maybe? No? No. Nope. Nope. That, yeah, it's just my oily skin. Mm. Hi, hello, I'm kind of just popping up in here in the middle of the review. I forgot to mention this while I was reviewing it, but um, usually, especially lately, um, as I said already, that um, my foundation's been like breaking now because of my skin being so oily in this hot weather. Usually, if the foundation starts to do what it did in the clip um, on my chin or around my face or whatever, I can just smooth it out. But because the foundation is one of those really long wearing, like really, like it really sets on the skin, it was like, stuck to my skin which which is a good thing but the oil that my skin was producing was breaking it down at the same time so i couldn't just like smooth it out and usually I'll, I'll just smooth it out and it will actually look pretty much fine but with this because it's that sort of long wearing formula long wearing powdery type of formula it, i couldn't budge it on the skin and it was kind of just like broken down but like stuck on the skin okay i use some of my exo sampling blotting sheets from nature republic to blot but as you can tell the coverage i lost a tiny bit of coverage so um the whole, what happened was the oil broke down the makeup and i kind of lifted the oil broke down the makeup and i, had, I lifted it off of the oil blotting sheet so um it's not as long wearing as i thought it would be so i'm gonna touch it up all right, I touched it up, and it's sad that I had to touch it up this early in the day, but um, I don't mind too much, honestly, um, because it did layer on pretty well. After I did remove my the oily bits on my face, I did um, touch it up, and it did kind of smooth on quite nicely. It doesn't look cakey, and it looks just as good as I did when I first applied, so it doesn't look like I have too much makeup sitting on my face. What's your manager? Mm. Oh, you're Molly's Pops? Molly's Pops. Molly's Pops. I came here many a year ago, back when I was actually watching Eat Your Kimchi and uh, me and my own Jay came here uh, before but uh, what time is it now? <sighs> Almost five, five to five. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Um, I'm wearing the, the this cushion today. It's supposed to be like a it's supposed to be a 25 hour long wear matte foundation. Makeup for 25 hours. That's what I'm wondering. As long as it lasts at like 10 hours, it'll be fine. I think those foundations is like 48 hours. Um, okay. I see you, Lanko. How does it look? It start, I, under my eyes, it's really creasing. Yes. I, I had to actually had to touch it up before I went to my last meeting. Mm. I had to blot my face with my Exo Sehun oil blotting sheets, and then I had to reapply it. But I think the layering is making it cakey a little bit. Yeah. Like from far away, it looks Okay, it's okay, but, but it's like lifting. if you it's lifting, right? Um, but when you touch it, it does have that feeling of like like long wearing cushions and foundations in general have almost like a tack. Not I don't say tacky because tacky almost has like a bad connotation to it, but it has almost like a tacky finish. Of course, I can put powder on top, but um, I can tell it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if my skin was normal, it would last all day, right? Mm. But because my skin is oily, it hit that makeup and it like broke it up a little bit. So I had to blot off because it started to break up. Mm. Um, but yeah, so far it looks really good when I first put it on. But so I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. Well, I'll see you again one more time at the end of the day. But uh, so far, it's the Lord speaking for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling me this foundation is not right for me. No, I'll see you guys at the end of the day at home. Uh, Eh, I don't really like it. Um, it is currently it's uh 8:35 in the evening, and um, you know, it did like for this. Actually, no, no. I was about to say like, oh, it's okay for as long as because I just remembered that it claims to be 25 hour, like long lasting. But I have makeup that 
doesn't claim that. Um, it doesn't even claim to be long wearing, but it looks better than this after this long. Oh god. And this is after touching up. And um, it's not even, I don't even think it's so much that, oh, you touch, I touched up and then I'm adding more product on top so it can slightly get more cakey. I actually blotted off the excess like oil and with that, like the excess makeup that kind of lifted off the skin. So I, I you know, I don't, I, I don't feel like I was layering on too much. Um, even and even if when I did touch up, I didn't apply too much at all. Only enough to um, kind of cover the redness that did show through again. So so far, I think this would work much better on someone with normal skin. Um, my skin is really really oily right now, so um, I can understand that it does. It's not going to last that long. But um, it's just a little disappointing because it looked really nice at the beginning. But um, uh, for it to claim it's 25 hour wear, um, and for it to look like this after um, not even half of that, um, it's. Kind of disappointing. So I'm gonna try it again tomorrow, but with um, like my regular routine, and we'll see how that fares. Hi, it's uh, J2, and I'm trying it this time with like everything primer. I do the powder, the cushion, the more powder. Um, what I would normally do on a like a regular makeup basis, and yeah, I guess well, I mean it didn't apply any differently. Um, one thing though is that if I do that sort of primer powder foundation method sometimes if the, the foundation is too matte it can kind of like ball up with the primer and powder and like turn all nasty but uh luckily it didn't do it for this um but it still pretty much applied the same it didn't look too different other than the fact that it would other than it being a little bit more matte because there was already that mattifying stuff underneath so um yeah the coverage was a little bit better um it was definitely more full um, with this method that I did um, rather than alone on alone. I think it's more medium ish um, and you, The more you apply them you can build it up more but with this primer powder method you Obviously I got more coverage from that So I don't I didn't really need to go in with a concealer because uh, the powder I used on top did have a little bit of coverage anyway It sounds like a lot of products, but I think at the end uh, it ended up not being too much on my skin so um Use a really light powder in my eyes that I probably shouldn't have done that because it makes my dark circles probably look worse than they were before. Um, so don't do that. Hopefully uh, she'll be okay this time, but as like an alone, like the foundation alone, I wasn't really feeling it. Um, I don't really care for this foundation that much. I mean, it definitely lasted longer today. Um, you can see it's breaking down from the oil. Um, it's pretty late now. It's nearly 10 o'clock, so this is actually pretty decent um, for foundation. It's like pretty much gone around my nose, but definitely you can see around here and most definitely my chin. My forehead is creasing and started to break down, as well as between my eyes. See, this is one of those things where, for me, I'm not really into it, but I can definitely see this working well for people with normal skin or not as well as skin, just like maybe combination skin even, um, because it worked pretty well. Like alone, I think on normal skin, it would work, it would look really really nice and it would probably last all day. Dry skin, maybe. If you moisturize really well um, and you take care of all of the dead skin and you make sure you exfoliate, um, I think it will last on dry skin as well because. I never at any point did I think it look, felt dry at all, uh, even with like the primer and um, powder method, because um, I use the hourglass primer and that can really make my skin look dry if I use like if I don't moisturize well and if I use a kind of mattifying foundation. Even through that, it didn't look or feel drying. Only until after like today, I did a lip swatch video, so it probably looked a little bit dry here. Uh, probably mostly cakey. So if you have normal combination or maybe dry skin, I think it would last much better on you. Um, if you have really, really oily skin like me, I don't think, unless you do, maybe if you use like that fucking milk of magnesia, um, maybe it will last on you. But for me, um, I would, I probably wouldn't gravitate, I wouldn't grab it like now, maybe more in the fall. So um, I think it's not, I actually don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty good. But uh, for me, I don't like the way it looks like at this point. So if you're interested in it, I think you should keep or you should look at more reviews. It is kind of you, so I don't know if there's many out there, 
But uh, there was there was mine. That was my review. One thing to note though is um, on the first day that I tested it, I applied a little bit to my eyes and um, almost acted like an eyeshadow primer for me. But even despite that, and I had like a long wearing eye tint sort of thing. But that, as you might have seen in the last or yesterday's clip, it did it like it was pretty much gone. So yeah. It, could not withstand the oily bits of my face. It's a really cute cushion, and it's actually not too expensive because you do get a refill with it. Um, and the packaging is adorable, but it just didn't claim. It didn't last the 25 hours that it claimed to be. Um, but I'm gonna blame that on like my really oily skin. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna link it down below if you're interested, and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, oh God, I need to change up my endings. I'm like getting boring, as you can probably tell, and you're probably like, yes, you are. I don't know if it's gonna go now. Bye bye. Keep my feet on the strong ground When you're with me, I will not be shaken I adore you before your presence Where your glory dwells I keep my feet